Okay, in this video we're going to talk about finding the second derivative of a set of parametric equations. Um, and so let's get started. So we have a set of parametric equations, x is equal to f of t and y is equal to g of t. And the first thing we need to know is how to find the first derivative. So the first derivative for these things is um, still dy dx. And it's going to be equal to, um, so there's like a lot of chain rule stuff going on with this. So it's dy dt, because y is a function of t, and then times dt dx, but nobody really thinks of it that way. Most people think of it as um, dy dt, and then divided by dx dt. But then um, there's some easier notations, so you might uh, have something else in your mind. So uh, dy dx can also be written as um, g prime of t over f prime of t, because remember we said uh, y is g of t and x is f of t. Um, or you can remember it, this is how I actually remember it, as um, y prime of t divided by x prime of t. So that's how I have it in my head. Um, so that's the first derivative. The key thing about the first derivative is that it's actually going to be a function of t. Um, and that's a big deal because when we go to find the second derivative, we got to deal with that t somehow. So to find the second derivative, what we're going to do is we're, what we're looking for is we're looking for the second derivative of y with respect to x. So that's going to be um, the derivative with respect to x of dy dx. Um, and here we run into the chain rule again, right? Because we didn't really account for t. Um, so dy dx is actually a function of t, which means that we need to take the derivative of that with respect to t. So it's d dt of dy dx. And then by the chain rule, um, we're going to need to multiply by dt dx. But then we ran into that situation again where um, nobody really wants dt dx. Um, so instead, we're going to write it as this. So this is how I actually have it rem uh, memorized, I guess. Um, so it's the derivative with respect to t of dy dx. And then that's going to be divided by dx dt. So the key thing to remember is really that dy dx is a function of t, and so we kind of need the chain rule to save us to find these derivatives. Um, so let's do an example and uh, see how it works. So we have x is t cubed plus t squared, and y is 7t squared minus 4. So to find this, um, we need to find dx dt and dy dt. I definitely recommend that you find dy dt first, because um, people just tend to divide the first thing they find by the second thing that they find. Um, it's not the right thing to do, but to avoid that, you should just find dy dt first. So dy dt is just power rule um, 14t. dx dt is also from the power rule, going to be um, 3t squared plus 2t. And so that means that dy dx, we already found everything we need. So dy dx is dy dt, which is 14t, divided by dx dt, which is 3t squared plus 2t. Um, everything has a t in it, so to simplify things, when you're doing these, you pretty much always want to simplify as much as possible. Um, I'm going to factor a t out and cancel it, so I get 14 over 3t plus 2. And now we want to find the second derivative. So the first step of finding the second derivative is to find the derivative of dy dx with respect to t. So we're doing d dt of dy dx. And this is going to be, well, so there's a lot of ways you could figure this out. Um, I'm going to rewrite dy dx first as 14 and then 3t plus 2 to the negative first. And now I'm going to kind of power rule chain rule this. So the derivative of this is going to be, um, we have 14 as a constant multiple. Uh, we have 3t plus 2 to the negative first. So bring down the negative 1, and then we get 3t plus 2 to the negative second. And then by the chain rule, times 3. And we can simplify this. So we get negative 42 over 3t plus 2 squared. Okay, so that's the derivative of dy dx with respect to t, and we have to take that and divide it by dx dt, because that's how you find the second derivative. So our second derivative is going to be equal to what we just got, so the derivative of dy dx with respect to t, and then we're going to divide that by dx dt, but to simplify things a little bit, I'm going to factor a t out of dx dt. So dx dt is 3t squared plus 2t. Both things have a t, so I'm going to factor out the t um, and have t times 3t plus 2. And then uh, I'm going to rewrite this a little so that you can kind of see the simplification that I'm doing. 
So I'm going to have this, and then I'm going to multiply by 1 over uh, t times 3t plus 2, because that 3t plus 2 is showing up in both denominators, um, so I can combine those. So finally, my answer overall is going to be the second derivative um, with respect to x is negative 42 over t times 3t plus 2 cubed. Um, so that's it. It's not the hardest thing in the world, but that's one of those things you really want to memorize to make sure that you're doing it correctly. Um, I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.